Hi everybody, how's it going? It's Kristen. Uh, I did not get a regular video out this week to you because life, work, it got in the way, so uh, a regular episode was not in the cards, but I thought I would pop in today and do a quick little vloggity vlog, show and tell, let you guys uh, in on what I've been working on. And if you've been following my channel for the past few weeks, you might know that I have fallen off the deep end in the land of crochet. <laughs> and I am having so much fun. Oh my gosh. Uh, you are looking at my current whip uh, work in progress. This is the Intentions Wrap by Not Bad Brit. And I learned about this pattern from watching, of course, Tony Lipsy's YouTube channel, TL Yarn Crafts. And she did a whole episode on pattern recommendations for working with mini skeins. And this was included in that episode. I'll link to it down below in the description box in case you want to check it out yourself. Really Really great episode but when I saw this pattern I fell in love with it and since I was already on the crochet bandwagon I thought let's let's do this this yarn is by Christy of yarn cafe creations and you're probably thinking Kristen you you're a yarn dyer why didn't you just dye your own mini skein kit uh, well yeah that's true I could have but you know to be truth be told I don't really work with mini skeins so therefore I don't dye them. Uh, it's just not something that I do. So instead, I decided to check out some of my fellow indie yarn dyers online shops and fell head over heels in love with this yarn kit. I will pop a photo of what the kit looked like as a whole before I dug into it. I could not resist, but it's an absolutely beautiful collection made up of 12 mini skeins total. They create this really beautiful fade from uh, mauvey pinks and reds all the way to aqua blues and teals and uh, still my heart. So it comes with 12 mini skeins and one whole skein in this color right here, which is her manicure colorway. And um, I'm not gonna go through all the individual names of the mini skeins, they're just too many, but trust me, they're all fun and all beautiful. And Christy, if you're watching this, you outdid yourself. It is so stunning. Um, and as you can see, I cast this on last weekend. It is now a week later, and this is crocheting up so quickly, as as crochet tends to do. Uh, that is something I'm learning very, very quickly. That crochet is really fast to work up, and also, it eats yarn like nobody's business. So, uh, this is currently where I am right now. I'm on the sixth skein of the pinkish mini skeins, and once I'm done with this color change, I'll knit another one of these rows, and, sorry for the crinkling, we'll dig into, ooh, these beauties right here. So uh, look how stinking gorgeous these are. And can we talk about the packaging? Look at this. She, so much work, Christy. Her labels are supposed to mimic the little insulated koozies that uh, you know you get around your coffee cup when you go to a coffee shop. And I love this idea so much, so great. Uh, this color right here is, oh, love it. Anyway, let me get back to the pattern. Uh, again, this is the Intentions Wrap by Not Bad Brit. And again, it's just a very meditative, make. So it starts off here and it has a very basic wave shape. Uh, although I'm not going to lie, this was definitely a learning curve for me because, you know, while I do know how to execute the basic crochet st stitches, like a single crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, that's basic. Uh, this kind of takes it to the next level where you have something called a an extended double crochet. And that I had a look up. And then what she has you do with the extended crochets are, you know, decreases and increases. So that was something else that I had to wrap my brain around. Um, but the other, the thing that I'm still kind of sort of working on are my edges. Um, again, I'm, you know, well, I do crochet, well, I have crocheted on and off in the past, you know, doing the odd granny square blanket, granny stripe blanket. It. This kind of takes it to the whole next level where instead of making a mock stitch, you are actually just drawing up a, a stitch from the next level to kind of supposedly create a, a flat edge. And you can see here, I'm not doing it correctly. I didn't beat myself up about it. I just kept going. And as you can see, um, I'm getting better and better as I progress. Um, and on this side, this side is a little cleaner. But yeah, I still have work to do. Um, but you know, it's it's coming along. And I think after the second repeat, I really didn't have to refer to the pattern anymore. It's just smooth sailing. And again, it's just so therapeutic, so repetitive, and I'm just so enjoying the color changes. Again, it's one of those patterns where it's like knitting a, uh, a self-striping sock where you can't wait to get to the next color change. You know, just one more row, one more stripe, one more stripe. This is just like, 
one more mini skein, one more mini skein. And clearly, yes, again, it is just knitting up super stinking fast. And oh, this colorway right here, I don't know how well you can see, but there's just like these pops of neon orange, caution orange, which in the past I was not really a fan of, um, like orange in general. I, I just never really gravitated towards it. But lately, lately I'm finding that orange yeah, I, I can get down with orange and I'm liking it. I'm really, really liking it. So anyway, um, I'm trying to think what else I wanna say about this other than, you know, I'll show you the other side. I have been weaving in my ends as I go along. Um, here you can see I've got a couple of tails. Um, I'll trim those down after this is all blocked and, and smoothed out just, you know, to give a little bit of insurance there in case if, if I do stretch it out and it kind of pulls in a little bit. So I'm leaving a little bit of insurance there. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, so that I think is all I want to say about the shawl. As far as my tools, I have been using these wonderful crochet hooks by Tulip, uh, Tulip Etimo. And guys, I, again, like this is such a rabbit hole and this is escalating more quickly than I anticipated because I'm buying all the crochet hooks. It's just, there, there's no, there's no end in sight. I mean, yeah, these, these, are, are furls. You've probably seen them, heard of them. They are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this this was a birthday treat to myself. Um, and I have, I have words. I have words about the furls. We will do a separate video on that at some later date where I give my full review because I'm still toying around with them. But can we just have a moment? Oh, guys, okay, anyway. I just wanted to show off my furls, but <laughs> because I, how, how could I not? Um, these are just basic crochet hooks that I got from Michaels. I absolutely love them. I mean, you know, you see so many fancy schmancy crochet hooks on the on the web floating around. And while they do have their place, you know, every every maker is different. Everyone's got their own special needs when it comes to, you know, ergonomics and all that good stuff. But I find, I find just a basic thin metal hook with a short shaft right here and a little thumb rest is what my soul, what my crocheting soul needs. So these are really, really fun. Uh, they actually come in a really nice little pouch. Uh, I can do a review on these too if you guys want. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. But again, I got these from Amazon. These are by Tulip, Etimo, and I will open these up. And it comes with a really beautiful set of crochet hooks. I got them because they were gold. They're really beautiful. They actually come with a little pair of snips that are not in here right now. They're somewhere else. Um, metal darning needles for weaving in your ends, a nice little ruler. And yeah, it goes from a size, let me see, size zero, 1.75 millimeter, all the way up to a size 10, which is a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. Um, for this one in particular, this project, I am using a size six, 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And yeah, again, love it. It just lets me get in there and zip, zip away. So yeah, that is my intentions wrapped by Not Bad Brit using yarn from Yarn Cafe Creations and I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's very, it's very slapdash. It's, I'm, I'm not on camera, but I hope you guys don't mind. I'll be back next week with a regular episode for you all uh, to catch you up with all the other things that I've been working on. Let me know down in the comments below, would you ever consider casting this on? What are your favorite patterns to work on with mini skeins? I, I would love to hear all about it. Uh, but in the meantime, until the next video, happy knitting, happy crocheting, happy making, whatever your craft is, and I'll see you next time. Bye.